Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 100. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 97 to 100. Well, I guess we saved uh, one of the better tricks for uh, 100 here. And actually, this, we already, oh, what we want to do here is uh, pull out from a database customers who have not ordered, oh, you can see I didn't spell right again, have not ordered in the last six months. Now, we already did this one in YouTubers Love Excel 95.2, except for here's an added complication. The one we did in 95.2, there were no duplicate customers, but guess what? What if we have duplicate customers? Here's uh, the customer here and here's the customer here. And this makes sense because in a transactional database, uh, where we have transactions, purchases, the same customer can buy multiple times over the last year, for instance. So we need a formula because we're trying to find a date. It has this customer uh, ordered in the last six months. Um, we need a formula here that will look at all of the customer one's dates and pick out the maximum one. Remember, what is a date? If you click in the cell and control shift tilde, which converts it back to general format, all dates are serial numbers, the number of days since December 31st, 1899. I'm going to control Z. So if we pull the max of all customer one, so you know, we could do a simple formula here by hand equals max of this. And then I'm going to hold control and this, and then I'm going to hold control and this, right? So that's really what we're trying to do. But if we have a uh, database with a million transactions, uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to do it that way. Um, and there it is. If I were to scoop this formula out, copy, tab, tab, and I'm going to paste it here. And control shift three applies a date. Uh, format, or you could control one and then apply the a, a date format like that. So one one two thousand and eight, and you can verify that that max work. Here's uh, four twenty six two thousand and seven. That's way more than six months ago. One one two thousand and eight, and uh, four twenty five two thousand and seven. So that is the max date. That's the most recent date. And so that's what we need for this trick. Well, this trick is going to require that we do an array formula. So you ready? Equals max. And then we're going to have to plop, uh, place this max array formula into that if formula we did before. Right? You ready? Max of what? Well, we need a way of getting all of these values. So we're going to do an array. We're going to say customer1 right here equals. And then we're going to click here, Control Shift Down Arrow, and F4. Now we actually need parentheses around this because this, as an array, will deliver a bunch of trues and falses. In fact, no problem. We can do our trick where we highlight part of a formula and hit F9. See, it's a bunch of true, 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 false, 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 false. So that's a way of getting. Um, uh, a bunch of true falses that tell us when in this database range we have customer one. Control Z. And now what we want to do is multiply that because if you multiply true times a number, it'll be that number. If you multiply a number times false, it'll be uh, uh, not that number. So now we want to click here, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4 to lock it because we are going to copy this formula down, and then close parentheses. Now, you, if you hit Enter, what happens? Uh, well, I don't know what it's doing there, but it's certainly not delivering our uh, a array formula. So if I um, put it into edit mode and control shift, because you enter array formulas with control shift, and there we get our date. And then we can double click and send it down, control one, and we will get um, date, and then click OK. And sure enough, if you were go through go, to go through and do a few of these by hand to prove it to yourself, you see that sure enough, it got that max date. We can prove it. Here's customer two. There's eight. 7, 2007, we scroll down, customer 2, oh, 2, 15, 2007, uh, there's 2, oh, 4, 27. So that is the max date. Now, that's only part of this formula. I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. Now, that is the date we need to compare to today. Um, click Escape. We need to figure out 
uh, since this person wanted six months ago, we could just type 180, take the today function, and subtract 180. But if you want it to be an exact, we'll look at a formula here that will um, figure out all of the days from exactly six months ago. Because remember, some months have 30, some months have 31, some months have uh, 28 or 29. So here it is, um, equals today. And today uh, always gives you today's serial number date minus, and what we want is e date. And if you uh, don't want to see how that function works or how array formulas works, I actually have some links up here of, for videos I've already created because we've already gone over e date. Now, the start date, oh, it's going to be today. How clever is that? Comma, and how many months in the past? Minus six. Now, notice today gives us a serial number. This one gives us a serial number from six months ago. When we subtract the two, it gives us exactly the number of days between six months ago and today. Uh, enter, and you can see what? It's got a date format. Hey, that happens sometimes when you have uh, the today function or you're doing date math. No problem. We'll convert it back to general format. You could control one and then click on general, or you could use the keyboard shortcut tilde is to the left of the number one, control shift tilde, 182 days. So that's more exact than 180. Now we need to finish this, click in this cell in F2, and um, click before the M but after the equals. And we need to, so right there, we need to check whether today minus 182, which is six months ago, if that serial date is greater than this. If it is, that means they have not ordered in the past six months. If, open parentheses, today, and notice today is an argumentless function. It just has two of those minus this number right here. Is that greater than this array right here? Remember, that delivers the uh, date for the customer, the, the maximum of all those dates. If that's true, which realize that's the um, means, if that's true, it means they haven't ordered in six months. Then we want this customer name right here. Otherwise, in qu double quotes, we want current or whatever text you wanted here. And that formula, when we hold Control and Shift and then hit Enter, that will tell us whether the customer has ordered, uh, has not ordered in the last six months. And it will accommodate the fact that this transactional database has duplicates. I'm going to double click and send that down. Now, uh, we can see we made a mistake here. So I'm going to have to click back up here in this cell, hit F2. And sure enough, duh, we forgot to lock that. That's a relative cell reference. So click right in the middle of that and hit F4. And then Control Shift and Enter. And now we can double click just that one. And sure enough, customer one and two haven't ordered in the last six months. These people are current. And you can scroll down the list and see. Um, and sure enough, these number sixes haven't ordered. And so maybe we have to phone them and uh, see if they will order. All right, we'll see you next trick.